Hello and welcome to Encore. Coming up, we meet Nathalie Dessay. <laughs> The celebrated soprano takes to the stage in a performance that sees her extend her operatic repertoire to theatre. Und is a stark one-woman show presented as part of the Paris Quartier d'Été Festival, which sees the French capital invite performing artists from Hungary, Lebanon, Spain and South Korea to name just a few of its far-flung visitors. So let's go and meet my guest. Nathalie Dessé, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, just to introduce you briefly, you've been one of the leading lights of opera for almost three decades. You've interpreted heroines from all the major composers in opera houses around the world. You've been awarded a Laurence Olivier Prize, a Legion of Honour here yeah, in proud France. Proud of it. <laughs> so, international uh, awards. Now you're moving away from opera to the stage in Howard Barker's play, Und. It seems like a logical move, but why this change? Actually, it's not that logical. Normally, singers stay singers till the end mm. <laughs> no but actually that that was really what i wanted to do when i was young when i was 18 i was an actor student and um, that was my goal in life so i made a little detour with opera but it was all already to be able to go on stage and now i'm really doing what i what i really like which is playing roles uh -huh. Well, it was a very successful detour for you. And I was going to ask you, when you've had such huge success in one career and you move into a slightly different one, what's the scariest thing? Uh, it's a new job. I have to learn. But I love learning and I, I love studying and discovering new things. So for me, it's a, it's a new start and I like the idea. OK, a new challenge, this uh, move into contemporary theatre. Now, the play is called Und, uh, after the character who you play, indeed, the starring role. It's written by Howard Barker. Let's take a look at this clip. En retard. Il est en retard. Il vient prendre les Juifs. Now we can see that you're pretty much alone on stage there. It's essentially a monologue. Um, was that overwhelming, being alone on stage without a company behind you? Mm, actually, when we do opera, we are quite alone too. Really? <laughs> of course, we have many people around, but every time you sing, you're, you feel very, very lonely. And actually, I'm not that alone because I have a companion on stage, we, which is a musician, and he plays the music, the sounds, and uh, the mood of the whole thing. OK. Now, the woman in this play, uh, we can see her waiting for a man, this invisible character who never appears on stage. And it made me think of Samuel Beckett's waiting yes, of for course. Godot. Yes. The absence or, there. Or les Yeah, exactly. And so why do you think modern theatre is so interested in what's invisible, in what's absent? The thing is that it's, um, it's a long wait, uh, but it can, it can be something else as just a woman waiting for a man. It's... it's we, I mean us, waiting for maybe the death and what is our uh, relationship to this moment, this very moment when the death is coming. So it's something very universal and that, uh, that is interesting for, for each of us. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you approach this text? I mean, the director, uh, Jacques Vinci, obviously he had his ideas, but you're very involved as well in the creation of this show. Did you approach it in the same way as you would uh, approach an operatic score, for example? Yes, I learned the text first, and it took me a long time because it's a long and difficult text. And then I'm, I trusted Jacques because he's a fantastic director, and I trusted him, and, and we were on a difficult way because we didn't know exactly what to do with it, that kind of text. But little by little, it appeared somehow. And with Jacques directing me, uh, we could uh, propose something that seemed a little bit logical 
Mm -hmm. Now, one of the very interesting ideas in this play is part of the uh, set design, yeah. these blocks of ice that are progressively melting throughout the action. I, w I was astonished by these. Did you get soaking wet? No, 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 because the, the, the ice is around me. So, But, but at the end, actually, I, I, I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> the, 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 the ice is melting, it's raining on the stage, uh, but it's also a metaphor of uh, I wanted life, to ask. You know. How, do, how does it reflect what's going on in the play? That, that was fantastic. I mean, this idea of the ice, um, uh, that, that is like a, a sort of a, um, danger all the time because people don't know if the ice is upon me directly or just around. And it, uh, it falls down also. And I don't know when it falls down, so it's, I have to react every time. And indeed, these reactions, these uh, emotions that Und goes through, she's a very tragic heroine in that she goes through a whole spectrum of emotions. Now, you've got plenty of experience playing iconic heroines of both uh, opera, specifically Pamina in The Magic Flute and Melisande of the Debussy Opera, and of course Violetta, that very tragic heroine in La Traviata. Let's take a look at your Violetta at the Met in New York in 2012. <laughs> Opera a few a couple of years ago now, and you've branched out into new projects. They've been very varied: uh, musical theatre, starring in *The Umbrellas of Cherbourg*. You recorded an album of classic covers with Michel Legrand. Um, very different style. Uh, we're going to hear from one of them now. This is a short extract of *Papa, Can You Hear Me* from the musical *Yentl*. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you help me not be frightened? Looking at the skies, I seem to see a million eyes. Which ones are yours? Where are you now that yesterday has waved goodbye and closed its door? So we can see you branching out into a very different musical style there. How was that experience for you? Oh, the meeting, I mean, uh, the encounter with Michel Legrand was fantastic because he gave me uh, wings, <laughs> in a way, and courage to, to go to uh, other universes and to take another road. Uh, he's a genius, so working with a genius, a living genius, is fantastic. And, uh, um, I mean, it... It taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. And what's next in terms of new musical projects? Next. So I have uh, many recitals with my pianist Philippe Cassar. We have uh, a lot of recitals to, to go on. And the new CD will be released in September with uh, French melodies. But um, we, did, uh, we prepared uh, some Schubert and uh, Mendelssohn and, um, and various um, French melodies for the the next season, then we have uh, other concerts with Michel Legrand and another project with an album. And my, uh, yeah, I will do my debut in a, an American uh, musical, Passion by Stephen Sondheim so at you're the Châtelet in wow. March. Next so you're March. still branching out into all these new projects. And yes. I know that your, your fans, are, uh, your opera fans here in Paris were very disappointed when you left the stage. Is there something that could te tempt you back to opera? Is there a dream role that you haven't played? No, no, no. I've done everything I could. I think the repertoire is, uh, is um, too small now for me. Yeah. <laughs> and also I have a very high voice, which means that I have to... Um, to play uh, young girls all the time. And I want to do new things and things of my age and uh, of uh, what I can do uh, with my personality. So um, things like Und uh, are very interesting or, or a Passion, the new, the new mus musical, or um, even uh, new plays. 
Mm -hmm. I really hope uh, I will continue to play theatre, which is really my, my passion since a very long time. And of, of, of all these very varied characters you've played, from these young uh, operatic romantic heroines to more character actress uh, roles, is there one figure who you identify with the most that's been a, a character well, you... I never identify with, with any role, but I, I like to be very different on stage of what I am. Uh, in life, so I liked very much playing Manon, which, who is a, um, a teenager, or or Violetta, who is um, a fantastic, beautiful soul, or uh, even Zabinetta, who is a sort of a, um, courtesan, um, or even uh, La Fille du Regiment, the daughter of the regiment, which is a tomboy. <laughs> so you're a true chameleon then. Nathalie Dessay, thank you so much for thank speaking you. to us. Und, starring Nathalie Dessay, is on in Paris till July 24th at the Théâtre Athénée. We'll leave you with more from the Paris Quartier d'Été Festival. This is a taste of Johan Bourgeois's surreal and eccentric creation, Caval. The festival continues until the 8th of August. Remember, you can get more culture news on our website. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. There's more news coming up on France 24 after this.